All right, we are on. We are on. Happy Wednesday morning. It is Wednesday morning here, recording our Wednesday workout. We just started with uh, 30 seconds of step ups. Okay, we got sumo squat coming up next. And there's all 30 seconds on the clock. Here's okay, Wednesday morning. We're waking up. How are we doing out there? Feeling good? Is it Wednesday for you guys? Is it Thursday? Is it morning? Is it afternoon? Hope it's good, whatever it is for you. On to our second exercise of the list there. All right, we started the step ups. We now we're on to our sumo squat. And we're moving on to our kettlebell swings. Kettlebell swings. 30 seconds, nice and easy, All right? First uh, motions of the morning, of the workout anyways, just getting your body slowly moving, taking it nice and easy. As we flow through this, and after we finish with our swing, we're going back to our steps, two foot lateral up on and over. There we go. Lateral steps, up on and over. All right. We use some steps in our workout, as well as dumbbells and kettlebells for our workout today. Nice little rep scheme for you, a little up, a little down. As we're on our two-foot lateral steps right now. Let's see, we have a uh, moved Henry. We've got a lunge twist is next, All right? Lunge twist, again, everything's time. 30 seconds on, lunge and twist. So we have a new center square. Sherry's out today. Uh, hopefully feeling much better today. Dealing with a little, uh, little head injury. I wish her the best. Henry is up to the task, I'm sure. Welcome Joe to the screen. It's not been to a 6 a.m. class as far as I can remember in a long time. Uh, it should be fun watching this. Two boys work out. We got Slash of the Halo is next. Slash of the Halo. Get that good stretch in the shoulders. Okay, going back and forth. All right. Now the body's starting to get a little bit more juice flowing in it, feeling a little bit warmer. What's up next? Switch on that box. All right, let's get the heart rate up a little bit. Leg on the box, doing all that work. Dive it up. Nice soft landing. Right, switch, we move on to our instep stretch. Take all your time on this one side. We'll do the instep later on on the other side. So take your time, nice control, nice stretch, open up glutes, hip flexors, a nice hamstring. I think it's just uh, many people's nature to uh, switch after a couple seconds. Because even though I tell people to stay on that one side, and thickly still switch to the other side. Figure eights with your kettlebell. All right. A little coordination work in the morning. We'll control that weight. Doesn't need to be that heavy to be effective. Get a warm up, nice and easy to get the body slowly up and running. All right, step down, right? We're standing on the box, we step down, and then that's a, basically a backward step up. Okay, this takes a little getting used to, if you're not so adapt to it. But I like this exercise because when you get really good at it, uh, it just gives you uh, confidence that you have good proprioception, meaning your good awareness of your space, you know your surroundings pretty well. Okay, and if you're not good at it, go out just practice it and get better at it. And that's fine. Plank swings are next. Again, it's a warm up. I like to have both hands on the ground, get a nice shoulder stretch. And then as your hips drop down, 
Good little ab stretch. Oh, yeah. You can certainly go to a single hand if you're feeling it, but I like to use it as a stretch as well. Good core engagement here if you're doing the single arm. All right. That's good. High pull for that kettlebell. High pulls again. We're not going crazy heavy with our weight. We're just getting through a, a range of motion, working our shoulders, working our legs, connecting things together. What the proper warm up will do. Slowly prepping the body for what it's about to experience. A little more intensity. A little deeper ranges of motion, maybe. Definitely more reps. All right, one foot lateral on the box. Okay, one foot is on the box. We kind of pop up and over. It's almost like one foot's always on the box. It's very similar to our two foot lateral step, but two foot, you're kind of going two feet up on, two feet touch on both sides. One foot's a little more of a skip. Maybe hop from side to side. Again, a little more action in this one is usually high rates get up a little bit more when you're doing it this way let's move to our instep again instep now if you switch sides that's fine just do it again switching sides working on that nice good stretch a nice little spinal rotation and i try to drop the hips and they work on the hip flexors and hamstrings Okay, it's not good. Sorry. Woo. Curl press extension is next. Grab that kettlebell. Curl it. Press it. Extend it. All right. Again, not using any kind of max weight on this one. Now we're getting close to the end of the warm up. Feeling good, feeling ready to go. Switch again, but this time we're gonna move around the box. So as you switch, then you kind of rotate around the box. We have room to do this. Good job, good job. Driving those knees up a little bit. Again, more coordination. Now we're really awake, right? Now we're ready to go. Just the knee, knee to chest, heel down, toe up. Keep that leg pretty straight. This is a great stretch. Back of the leg, grab that toe, get a little extra Achilles stretch. All right. There we go, guys. One more. Exercise to do is our alternating one arm swings. All right. Push up there, alternating one arm swings. Our workout, 12 exercises. We just go up our rep ladder and down our rep ladder. Right, round one, we do six reps. That's total reps. Uh, then we go up to eight, 10, to 12. Then we go back down to 10, to eight, and to six. Again, all those numbers are total. All right. I'll check out on these guys and see if they have any questions on exercises, but I think we're gonna get ready to go right away. There's only one or two kind of semi-new ones. So let me see how they're doing. I'll be right back. All right guys, you're working out pretty straightforward, right? 12 exercises. We start doing uh, six of these exercises. Three total reps, so three reps. Then we go up to eight, ten, twelve, and then back down to ten, eight, and two, six. Right? Uh, let's get this off. Any questions on exercises? Uh, for some reason, my middle metal is missing over here. That's the 10 day kettlebell exercise, all will give you one arm swings. Most of these are familiar exercises. If you guys have any questions, I'll answer them.
Friday, guys. There we go. We start with our first round, six reps. Bottoms up squat. Oh, Henry got to get through it. See Joe doing it. All right, grab on that kettlebell with the handle. Get nice and low in your squat. Three on each side. Then our box, reverse lunge with the D drive. So that leg goes behind you, reverse lunge, pops up. And steps on that box and pops up. Nice, nice, nice. So then we go to our plank row. One hand on the ground. Uh, Henry's doing the uh, more difficult option. One hand on the kettlebell. A little more stability needed when done that way. Good work, though. Good work, good work. Again, six of them, three each side. Knee hug press, right? Using that weight, dumbbell and kettlebell, press it up and out of the way. Bring the knees in, press that weight up. And then we go to our alternating one arm swing. Six of those, so three inside. side. Nice job, nice job. One-legged box squat. Okay, grab that kettlebell. All right, you need to move a little higher step with this one. Again, six reps, three on each side. We're flying through round one. We're flying through round one. one-legged squat. So we do our lunge with our pass through, right? Again, we're on six reps. So you lunge forward. And pass that way from the outside to the inside. All right, next up is our plank walk up. Oh, yeah, moving through it. Plank walk up, so you drag under. So you do one walk up, 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 down, down. Drag that weight. All right. If you guys have a mat, some area to be able to drag. If you're on your nice hardwood floor, then don't drag. Just work on uh, walk ups and maybe pick that weight up. Um, or just do a plank walk up with a reach if you're not. Uh, really able to do any kind of dumbbell work on your floor, that's definitely the option to do, is to reach instead. Now here's our cross-body extension. Watch it, Henry, here. All right, you're in upper plank position. You raise one arm, raise the opposite leg, you bring it to your side, you bring it straight underneath, and then you go down. Tough one, keeping that balance. See that? Go out with the leg and arm to the side, bring it into the middle, and then drop it down. Woo! That's a tough one. That's a tough one. And we go right into our ankle tap. Squat jumps. Whew. Good combo. Good combo. Two body weight ones in a row. They're probably the toughest ones. All right. Well, if anyone wants to know what I didn't put in the workout, what I could have, then you let me know which one you think is going to be more difficult. The cross body extension or the one that could have been. All right, we're on to our sumo. So you're in a nice deep sumo squat. Elbows kind of stuck into that thigh with the hand and the backing. Six of those. Three each side. All right, someone had a question that Henry was able to answer for them. Thank you, Henry. We are on to our Russian twists. Six Russian twist. Finish the first round. No big deal. You know what I realized is that when I stand there in front of everyone in the morning and I say, okay, guys, any questions? There's many people who probably have questions but don't want to ask because then they'll look like, well, I didn't watch the video and I don't want to get in trouble. It's just so much easier when people communicate and ask questions. 
I don't know what you don't know. And I can't tell you what you don't know if you don't let me know what you don't know. Does that make any sense? Well, that's my rant. We're on to round two. Kittabel, bottom up squat. So the bottom line is, you got a question, you should always ask because other people probably have that same question. It's brave to ask questions. All right, enough of that. Reverse lunge without leg drive. And next, remember now we're up to eight repetitions. So four on each side. Okay, we're moving, we're moving. First couple of rounds, always gonna move. When you get to the 10 and the 12, I'll slow you down a little bit. All right, where are we at now? Our plank row. Plank row, again, we're doing eight reps, four on each side. You can have your hand on the ground. If you have two dumbbells at home, you can certainly go alternate, going back and forth. That's not a problem. We're on our knee hug press now. Knee hug press. All right, finished our eight knee hug presses. We have our one legged box squats. Oh, sorry. We have our alternating one arm swings. Which brings me to my question I have the workout up on the TVs, and for some reason, my kettlebell is missing from this box for lack of a better term yes you know, slide like a powerpoint presentation as these guys are moving on to their dumbbell one-legged box squats and if you printed out the workout you'll see the kettlebell and the box and the dumbbells those are all in big bold kind of colorful letters sorry if you printed in color and i don't mean to be wasting your color printer but you see how it says kettlebell alternating one arm swings on the TV. The kettlebell is missing, uh, and, I, and I don't understand. It makes no sense. I double checked it. All of the screens that I have on the computers, hey, I can see the kettlebell. When I'm in my editing mode, when I go to present, okay, we're on the lunge with our pass through now because I got to work this out. You guys don't know what you're doing now. We're doing eight of our lunges with the pass through. Remember, you go outside the leg to inside, outside to inside, a little different than our figure eights, okay? But again, my kettlebell is missing on the screen. I don't get it. Technology, man, it's supposed to be simply this, this, this equals that. For some reason it doesn't. That's when things get frustrating. All right, that's why we work out, work out your frustrations, right? Dumbbell plank, walk up, drag under. So I did yesterday, the workout. It was a fun one, went by fast. Definitely feeling my legs. Today might be a bike riding day. I think I'll be on the trails. Plank walk up with your drag under, right? Okay, we figured out if you don't have the ability to drag wherever you're at at home, you can just do a plank walk up with a reach. That'll take about the same amount of time. It might go by a little bit quicker. Oh man, this is a tough combo. We go from plank walk ups to our cross body extensions. Who made this up? Holy cow. So take your time on these, all right? Nice, strong plank. You reach again. The arms come straight up. Then you just kind of, arm and the leg come straight up. You kind of swing it to the side. That's the tricky part. It throws off your balance. And then you kind of bring it back underneath and then go down with that. All right, go right to our ankle touch squat jumps. Now Henry's choosing to do the touch on the inside. You can touch on the outside, whatever you feel comfortable with. Oof. All right, that sumo curl. All right, get low into that sumo squat. Grabbing that elbow inside the inner thigh. Yeah. 
Nice range of motion, all the way down, all the way up. And then we finish up the round, our Russian twist. Good work, good work. Three, bottoms up squat again. Ten reps, five aside. Grab that kettle by the horns. Squeeze that grip. Get low into that squat. Five and five. We're getting serious now. Lunge with your knee drive. Leg drive, knee drive, whatever. Leg drive is on there. So get that nice reverse lunge. Tap that knee. That leg goes on the box. Other knee kind of pops up. Two dumbbells at home, no problem holding on to those both, going back and forth. Here, I just try to make it a little uh, easier to, uh, easier, but I want to make sure there's enough of the popular weights to go around, so. Yeah, that way, uh, people have options, so. And people always like that, a little more difficult option with that hand on that kettlebell, just add a little more. Stability, strength you need to work on, holding on to. All right, next up, knee hug press. All right. Knee hug press. Again, we're on our 10 rep round. Swings. All right. Guys, looking at everyone out there, seeing so everyone's doing, to where everyone's at. Again, this workout, people take at their pace, so everyone's at a different spot. We're on to our dumbbell one legged box squats, Henry. Some are out there still on their plank rows. Some are still on, some are with us on box squats. They're all over the map. That's fine. That's what I love about these kind of workouts, that people take it at their pace. They go, what is good for them? Oof. All right. One leg box squats. Move on to your lunge with your pass-through, okay? We're trying to go for more side to side versus kind of back to front but do the best that you can with what you got the lunge and the coordination of switching hands that's the tricky part 
All right. I think Henry is getting some heavier weights. He's up and next with his flank walk up. See what he's going to come back with. <sighs> All right. Big old 45 for this plank walk up drags. Good strong walk ups, nice steady drags. Again, no ability to drag. You can do a walk up with a reach. our cross body extension. Take your time, keeping that balance. Get yeah, nice and steady, working those shoulders, working that core. We're on a 10 rep round, right? We're on 10 reps, I think so. Here we go with our ankle tap squat jumps. up now. Here we go. Dumbbell. Concentration curl. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Good pace here. Good pace. up the round with our Russian twists. Alright. Ten Russian twists. Alrighty. Done with our ten rep rounds. That's three rounds in the book. Oof. All right, those went by pretty quick. All right. Now we're up to our 12 rep round, six aside. Up squats. Ooh, going big, going big. Oh, hold on there. Hold on, Henry. Come on. Squeeze that grip. Squeeze that grip. There we go. Good work. Good work. Yeah, hold on tight. Hold on tight. That's the job. We're trying to challenge ourselves, right? That thing should get shaky on you. Now again, at home, you guys don't have the ability to grab heavier weights all the time. So, you know, you, you're kind of locked in with the weights that you have. So, just do the best that you can. And again, I've said this before, you just go a little bit slower. Right, more time on the load equals greater intensity.
All right, excellent. The first lunge, leg drive. Taking a little breather, that's fine. Everyone needs that breather. Knee hug press. Is up after plank rows, which we got now. Plank rows. Here we go, plank rows. So we got 10 going, 12 reps. We got six going on each side. And finish those plank rows. Now we have our knee hook press. Nice job, guys, out there. He's coming in. Press. And we're done with the knee hook press. Alternating one arm swings. Here we go. swings back and forth here we go and then we're on to our one that legged box squats And six on each side. All righty, lunge with pass through is next. Lunge. And get that nice pass through, right? Plank walk up, drag under. All 
already. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Good strong walk ups. Get that drag in if you can. You can do a reach otherwise. body extension time all right this big one take your time nice control six aside You got your ankle touch squat jumps. How you guys doing out there? Whew. Make sure you're breathing. Those curls. Right, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Finish up with our Russian twists. Nice job, guys. Nice job. All right. Now we work our way down again. It took about 15 minutes to do the 6, 8, and the 10. So I think the 10, 8, and the 6 could go about the same pace. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. We're going to start it, though, right? 10 reps for our bottoms up squat. Of squats on to our first one leg drive. All 
right, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Micro time, right from night grow. You guys getting into the low of this workout We're on our way down. Ten reps of our plank rows, five aside. You guys hard I think working you guys hard nice job nice job all righty the hug press is done alternating one arm swings Swings done. We got our one legged box squats now. All right, get them done, get them done. Pass through. Nice job, nice job, moving through. Uh, plank, walk up, drag under. Extension time. Oof. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Getting through it. Getting through it. Reps to get a little bit less. It gets a little bit easier. Okay, 
ankle tap, wide jumps. <laughs> Sumo curls coming up next. Sumo concentration curls. Where are you guys at? You guys going at our pace? You're sticking with us? You're going at your own pace? You turn my uh, uh, sound down and just throwing the music on and just kind of going at your own pace? That works as well. All good options. All good options. Just moving is good, right? Keeping your body going is a good thing. All right, all right, and finish up with that Russian twist. Oof. Time, 48. All right, got about 10, 12 minutes left in our hour here, so. I think we'll be good, I think we'll get this in. Guys, good work. Two more rounds to go. We're on to our eight rep round. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Here we go. Next up, reverse lunge, leg drive. Sorry, I'm trying to space out a little bit over here. Hopefully you guys are still with us, still getting strong. So, we finished up our first season of Stranger Things last night. Pretty fun series. A little on the scary side for those who uh, don't watch scary things too too much. Not horrible by any means, but well done series. Look forward to seasons two and three. Although rumor has it season two isn't nearly as good as season three, so we'll have to scoot through season two quickly and get to season three. As we move on to our flank rows here. And we are on our eight round. It should be uh, four each side, right? All right. <clears throat> Plank row right to our knee hug press. Next up, well, I must have missed his alternating one-arm swing. I keep missing his alternating one-arm swing. Sorry, guys. 
Uh, he goes pretty quick on those. Well, now we're on to our one-legged box squats. All right, a four on each side. That flow is just meant to move quickly now. Lunge that pass through. And our plank walk up drag under. Coming up ahead of us. A possible shower later on in the afternoon, but let's get outside and enjoy the weather today, right? All right, where are we at? Enemies out of the plank walk ups with the drag. Body extension. Go right to our ankle touch squat jumps. All right, I'm gonna keep on moving here. Gonna keep on moving. Here we go. Little concentration curls. Speedy people, it looks like they're done out there. So if you're one of those speedy people, maybe you got a full round ahead of us. Yeah, it's totally possible. So we are finishing up our sixth round, which is our second to last. Oof. Finishing up those curls. Nice job, Henry, nice job. Brush and twists. And then we have one more round. Come on, gotta get on it, gotta get on it. Let's get it done, let's get it done. round now uh, last round let's see if we can blast through these six reps here we go bottoms up squat done reverse lunge oh never be that done We're a little lower all right we're pushing Henry to his limits I like it I like it there we go Bottoms up squat, reverse lunge leg drive. Thank you. 
swings all right one arm swing it was so quick just six of them all right let's get through this now let's get through this come on let do the workout get on the giddy up Whew. one leg box squats all right all right all right not leave you now now come on let's get it done let's get it done do you guys already done maybe you guys already have this turned off but there are some still watching you with us let's get it let's get it Three and three, come on. And our last little set of exercises. Let's go, lunge at the pass through, come on. Let's get it, Henry, let's get it. All right, all right, that's good, that's good, that's good. Like walk up, drag under, no stop. Get them all in, get them all in. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. Cross body extension. Here it is. Six of those. All right, all right. Almost there. Three more to go. Three more exercises. Let's blast through it. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Squat jumps. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, at it. Sumo concentration curls. Three and three. That's all. Finish nice and easy with the Russian Swiss. All right. Wow, that was a long workout. That was tough. That was tough. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was good for you. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Or oh, maybe this is Thursday when you do it. I don't know. Maybe this is some other day of the week. I'm not sure. Maybe you were watching this in the basement after the Apocalypse hit. And I'll be having some wings on YouTube. But either way, I hope you liked it. We'll see you on Friday, guys. Thank you.